Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here at the Rock Island Auction House today uh, at their preview day before their humongous uh, February of 2020 Sporting and Collectors Auction. And there's a rifle here that was pointed out to me as being rather unusual. And it is, in fact, so cool and unusual that I want to show it to you guys before it sells here and disappears into the void. So, this is an 1888 Monlicker. In fact, in the same lot with it, we have a proper full-length standard 1888 Monlicker. Um, you know, the, the magazine's fairly distinctive, the rear sight's fairly distinctive. Take a look at the bayonet lug there. Just remember that for a moment, because what we have here is an 88 Monlicker that someone cut down into a carbine and then fabricated that bayonet lug. Now, that is clearly very old work. You can see that it's been welded up here. There's like a nail as a pin holding it on. The muzzle has been turned down. None of this is factory. Like, this is not an official carbine variant of this gun. This is someone's home work, but it's not recent work. Um, in addition, in fact, sling swivel was moved onto the side of the stock instead of the bottom. So between that and your sling swivel here, you've got a nice short little carbine you can sling across your back. Now the question is, what is, like, what's the deal with that bayonet lug? It's really weirdly offset, the bore's smaller in diameter, and the gentleman who pointed this out to me said he thought about it, talked to his friends, and he realized China had a substantial number of 1888 Mama rifles. China also had a lot of Arasakas lying around. This is a Type 30 Arasaka bayonet and it fits on there very nicely. So this was not an official Chinese conversion, but this appears to have been. And this is just a guess, but I think it's a pretty uh, pretty legitimate guess. Someone in China, perhaps they damaged the end of the rifle or they just wanted a shorter, handier carbine. They cut down an 88 Monlicker and then welded up the bayonet lug to accept a Japanese Arasaka bayonet. So that is the sort of really cool unusual, one might say forgotten, firearm that you will find at something like a Rock Island Sporting and Collector's Auction. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.